it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So happy to have you here. Tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Follow me on Instagram because I'm on there all the time and I love to interact on there. And if you've been rock with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. So today we have a unit sent to us by Sans Beauty. So Sans Beauty, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. This unit is by Zuri Sis. And this beauty, her name is Romy, Rami, I think it's Romy. And this is her stock card here, and I have Romy in the 1B color. This is a lace front unit, so it does come with lace to cut out the pack. It does come with your typical cap construction with your two combs in the front, a comb in the back, adjustable straps. It does come with a hand tied part that I would say goes back like a good five inches. This is from their Naturally Star line, and it says in the stock card that has a natural press texture. I did review the other unit from this line. I reviewed Badu. It's a short blonde unit. Definitely check that out after this video because I thought that one was super cute and I was feeling the color so much. And it is heat safe up to 400 degrees. Let me give you a quick 360 and we'll just jump right in. Let's just dive right into my thoughts. And honestly, y'all, I really don't have one bad thing to say about this wig. Just like with Badu, I had a hard time finding the cons. And in this unit, even more so. This unit is absolutely gorgeous. First pro out the pack is the texture. Y'all know I love yakky textured wigs, especially when they're kinky straight, because I prefer wigs that mimic my natural hair texture. As much as I can wear them, as much as I can try them, I do that. And this right here is everything. Now you saw how it looked out the pack, right? When I put it on, don't walk out your house with the wig looking like that. This wig has a lot of volume. It's dense, right? I think it's equivalent to like maybe a 180% density in human hair. It's okay to have that type of volume, but that often leads to like a puffier crown area. So you have to apply some heat to the top in order to lay it down a little flatter for it to look a little bit more natural in my opinion. I think the way it's looking now, the way I laid it down looks really good. I mean, look at the difference here. Here's a before, here's an after. I think the after is what we are going for here. Another pro to this unit is the overall style and length. I think the length is perfect for every day. This is like a good 14 inches. Great for summer wear, great for work wear. Even with this kinky straight texture, it still feels super lightweight and I don't think I'm gonna be burning up in this wig. But even if I was, I'd still rock it anyway. If I'm hot, I'm hot, that's it. <laughs> Another pro is this hairline area. It's not super pre-tweezed. They definitely did try to do something and just adding my foundation was enough in order for it to blend very nicely. I also appreciate that the lace is brown at the pack. So that's a huge pro. Now right now I am wearing this wig glueless. As you can see here, I'm wearing a glueless, but I think when I wear it out this weekend, I'll probably use some got to be glue or the bedhead spray, something like that, just to tack down the sides. Another great pro is that this unit definitely accommodates larger heads. I have a medium sized head, so I go for either medium size or large because I can easily adjust. If it's too small, if I really like it, I'll try to make it fit. But I like that this has room because I feel like it'll accommodate more head sizes. If you have a small head, like a 21 inch circumference, I'd still get this wig and just adjust the strap as tight as you can <laughs> because the she is too cute if you like natural textured wigs this is the way to go i love how soft she is i love how flowy she is especially after using my blow dryer brush let me tell y'all if y'all haven't caught that brush I don't know what you're waiting for. That brush is the truth. I have my Amazon link in the description box down below. If you decide to purchase it, please use my link because it does help me out. I've used this brush so many times in different reviews. I've used it on my natural hair. I think it's a staple that a lot of people should have when dealing with blowing out natural textured hair. By the way, huge shout out to this awesome find. I got this angled brush from Amazon. You see how it is here? Simple angle brush. I feel like I can't get enough of these because I use it all the time with my units and it only costs a dollar. <laughs> so if you're interested in this brush, definitely check out my description box as well. I mean, I love her. She's gorgeous. Like y'all see this on me, right? I look like a star. <laughs> Where am I going? I don't know. I'm supposed to be going to a picnic this weekend and I think this is the wig I'm going to wear. I can't believe I don't have any cons to this wig, y'all. Wow. 
I mean, the only thing I would change is the fact that Sam's Beauty only had it in a number one B at the time. And I prefer to get my natural texture wigs in a number two color because that's my natural hair color. But even though I wish this was a number two, the one B still looks fairly natural to me. So I'm still here for it. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous wig. I know some of you might be wondering how it compares to the Nisha Soft and Natural series. I think this more closely resembles Nisha 201, but 201 is actually shorter. Nisha 201 falls like, a, like, a, like around here and it does come set as a middle part, but I did wear 201 as a side part too, so that's fine. Whereas this wig definitely comes set as the side and I honestly have no desire to wear her in the middle. So yeah, the fibers that Zuri Sis is using, I feel like all companies need to use that. I mean, Outre already got the memo. Janet Collection, I think we're working on it with Janet. You know, I really want them to redo the Jode unit. Y'all know Jode by Janet Collection? When I did a tutorial with that unit, it did get a lot of views. That's like my highest watched video right now. But I just wish I liked Jode more because at the time I loved the style and I, you know, wanted to show how to make it look natural. But now now that there are way more options, I'm like, yo, Joe could have been so much more better. <sighs> so I would love for any company to recreate that Joe style using these type of fibers. That would be glorious. So yes, y'all, let me know how you feel about Romy in the comments down below. Are you feeling this natural hair slay? Because I'm definitely feeling it. I'm going to wear this this weekend. I'm super excited. I mean, she is beautiful, flowy, luscious, lightweight, natural. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. And the length and density is Perfect. This unit can be found on Sam's Beauty for, I believe, $32.99, something like that. Either way, it's a super affordable price, under $35. So I would definitely purchase this unit. Again, if you're interested in that blow dryer brush by Revlon, definitely check it out in my description box. Now, if you are new here, what are you waiting for? Tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, introduce yourself, stay a while, let's get to know each other. And if you wanna see me more textured wigs, I highly suggest that you check out my textured wig playlist right over here. And also check out Badu right over here when you're done with this video. Shout out to Sam's Beauty again for sending this unit over. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.